here's Johnny! Okay, I really don't know how this video is going to turn out because I'm really bothered by shit in my life right now. In my last video, I was bothered by how certain people treated me, but now, it gotten worse. I am not going in it much in this part of the video yet until I know a little more. But the second part of my problem I'll gladly bitch about. Hmm. This might take me few days to finish. I got a lot of aggression to get out. So see you next segment. Due to certain circumstances of me falling asleep I thought I'd be writing a good paragraph about my dumbass health agency's downfalls as of late, but I have to deal with my other problem. It's about 7.35 in the morning, I'm up in my wheelchair surprisingly just nervous. As I wait for my ride going somewhere I think I'm gonna write a little something. And sorry about my hair, I'm waiting for my next worker to come. Okay, before I talk about all of this shit that's happening now, I thought I'd give a little history of myself. I've been in Minnesota for almost 30 years, grew up in a small town in Upper Michigan, which I didn't much care for. Being disabled there was nothing up there for me, so I moved to Minnesota. Minnesota was a bit better. Bigger city and much better at first. I had my issues and problems with it, but I handled them. I'll talk about those a bit. But these new set of problems, I don't know how I'm handling them. Anyway, I'm gonna stop videoing right here for now. I gotta get things set up for me to leave. Until my next segment. Okay, I'm outside waiting for my ride. Hopefully I get more information about this thing. I had to stop writing this for a few days because I had a deal with stupid. Mm. When I left that day, I had to get a procedure in the hospital that should have been a day thing. But the hospital kept me overnight for no good reason. I had everything set up for my ride there and back. No doctor or nurse asked me how I was getting back. I would have told them the information, but no. Like always treat me like I'm dumb. Funny I was considering doing some of this in the hospital, but I thought doing this in my stylish hospital gown was gonna be too much. I wasn't amused. This is the longest video I've written also filming, being I'm having so fucking many doctor appointments, I haven't had time to finish this. Also after every appointment, I rolled myself into a bar. Now I'm thinking I should have done some of it when I was stuck overnight at the hospital. Okay, maybe not. Mm -hmm. This month and ones coming up are going to be the fucking hardest for me being I got diagnosed with esophagus cancer. Funny, my cancer doesn't bug me. Well, it does, and all it comes with the fucking thing. But what real thing that bothers the fuck out of me? A few days after I found I had cancer, right after I watched Godzilla vs. Kong, which I'll review after I do this video, my fucking health agency saying they're moving out of this building. So I might gotta look for another agency, or move to their stupid other site in some suburb I don't know. For one I had issues with this agency since 1996, and I only took them back because of this Minneapolis area. Like I said, I lived in Minneapolis, okay, the state of Minnesota for 30 years. Most of that in Minneapolis. I did try a suburb at first, but it reminded me of my hometown, so I left. I even tried their other city, St. Paul. 
I didn't much care for it. The agency found me this place. I lived here, I think, 2012 until now. I know Corona and other shit going on. Minneapolis is not place to be right now. Yesterday I cruised downtown, saw a lot of National Guard around. Probably because of that dumb trial and etc. I'll said hey to two. They weirdly said hey back. Okay Minneapolis is all I know. I made a niche here. I really will hate to move with these idiots. Health-wise I should consider it. But there are too many issues I got with this agency. Aids they hire. Couple friends got hurt and died in their other sites. Although that happened years and years ago, I can't forget or forgive them. And stupid stuff that happened to me, and this little fuck you to me now, I hate them more now than I do. Now with this cancer shit, that I may need more help than I do, which I'm not used to getting or needing help. Funny in the back of my mind, I knew this going to happen months before, that they were leaving. They hired this site manager nobody seen two years after she started. She screws over long timers that quit, then hires temporary staff that she also screws over then quits. Honestly I think she was here to fucking sabotage this site. And the corporate idiots didn't care. I know it seems far-fetched, maybe she couldn't find people to work in the big scary city of Minneapolis. No, she just a fucking idiot that couldn't manage shit out of her ass. And the bitch still owes me money for an Apple charging cord that some shithead stole from me. Mm. I'm not being petty, am I? Mm. I'm going to stop right here and watch Godzilla vs. Kong one more time and basically cheer myself up. Okay, I'm on my 199th video, and hopefully write a review while I watch that movie for the fourth time. With all of the shit going on, I wanna see monsters beef the piss out of each other. Mm. I don't know if I'm reporting on my cancer progress, I'll see. First I gotta see where I'm going or who's working with me. Okay, until my next video. Hey. Another reason I don't want to move I don't want to move all this again stuff gets fucking ruined if stupid people try.